Have you ever wondered if there might have been an advanced civilization that existed before our known history? Imagine a world, not as you know it today, but one brimming with the echoes of a bygone era. An era that precedes our recorded history, shrouded in mystery and intrigue. This is the world that Graham Hancock invites us to explore in his seminal work, Fingerprints of the Gods, the Evidence of Earth's Lost Civilization. In the labyrinth of time, Hancock dares to tread where few have ventured, unearthing the tantalizing possibility of a civilization far advanced than what we've come to accept. Picture this, a society not only technologically sophisticated, but also spiritually enlightened. A civilization that despite its grandeur was wiped off the face of the earth by a cataclysmic event. Through fingerprints of the gods, Hancock takes us on a riveting journey, delving deep into ancient myths that whisper tales of this lost civilization. He unravels narratives that have survived the onslaught of time, stories passed down through generations, hinting at a past more complex and compelling than we've ever imagined. But it's not just tales and folklore. Hancock explores the enigmatic evidence etched in stone. The megalithic architecture scattered across the globe bears silent testimony to this forgotten epic. Structures so intricate, so precise, they leave us questioning our understanding of ancient capabilities. And then there's the astronomical knowledge. Hancock probes into the celestial wisdom of the ancients, suggesting they possessed an understanding of the cosmos that rivals, perhaps even surpasses, our own. This wisdom, encrypted in monuments and manuscripts, provides tantalizing clues to a civilization that stared at the stars, not in wonder, but in understanding. In unearthing these mysteries, Hancock poses a question that shakes the very foundation of our accepted history. Could there have been an advanced civilization that thrived before our known past? A civilization that was lost but left its fingerprints for us to find? Uncovering these mysteries might just change the way we perceive human history. Hancock's journey through the world's ancient sites offers compelling evidence of a lost civilization. Our story picks up with Graham Hancock, a modern-day Indiana Jones, as he traverses the globe in search of clues to our forgotten past. His journey takes us from the iconic Great Sphinx of Giza, standing tall amidst the sands of Egypt, to the enigmatic Nazca lines of Peru, and finally, to the mysterious ruins of Tiahuanaco in Bolivia. The Great Sphinx, for centuries, has been a symbol of Egypt's grandeur, but Hancock proposes that the Sphinx's weathering patterns suggest it's much older than initially thought, possibly dating back to a time when the region experienced heavy rainfall, an era that predates the Egyptian civilization, a tantalizing hint of a lost civilization, perhaps? Next, we journey to Peru, where the Nazca lines stretch across the desert floor. These gigantic geoglyphs only fully visible from the sky raise a crucial question. How could a civilization, supposedly without the knowledge of flight, create such precise aerial view designs? Hancock suggests these lines might be the work of an advanced civilization with a sophisticated understanding of geography and astronomy. Our final stop is the ancient city of Tiahuanaco in Bolivia. The complex stone structures here exhibit an extraordinary level of architectural precision that seems to surpass the capabilities of the people believed to have built them could this be another testament to a forgotten civilization with advanced knowledge and skills? Each of these sites, in its unique way, provides a piece of the puzzle in Hancock's argument for a prehistoric civilization. They present architectural, astronomical, and geographical evidence that challenges our understanding of human history. They suggest that our past might be far more complex and mysterious than we've ever imagined. Indeed, these historical sites hold more secrets than we might have initially thought. What could have caused such a highly advanced civilization to disappear without a trace? This question brings us to the heart of Hancock's theory, a cataclysmic event of monumental proportions that swept away an entire civilization. Imagine, if you will, a world-shaking event, a pole shift. This isn't some minor gradual shift we're talking about, but a sudden drastic upheaval that would cause catastrophic changes in the Earth's geography and climate. This is the cataclysm that Hancock suggests might have led to the vanishing of this advanced civilization. What makes this theory so compelling is the evidence Hancock presents. Geological records show signs of sudden and drastic climate changes around the world, which could be indicative of a pole shift. There are layers of sediment that suggest the occurrence of massive floods, and ice cores from Greenland and Antarctica show abrupt temperature swings. These are not the slow, gentle changes of natural progression, 
but the violent upheavals of a catastrophic event. But it's not just the geological records that support this theory. Hancock also delves into ancient myths and legends, many of which speak of a great flood or a sudden world-changing event. These stories passed down through generations may be more than just fanciful tales, they could in fact be the echo of a lost civilization's final days. We find such myths in cultures across the globe. From the biblical story of Noah's Ark, to the epic of Gilgamesh in ancient Mesopotamia, from the Hindu tale of Manu, to the Greek legend of Deucalion and Pyrrha. All these stories speak of a great flood, a world-ending event. Could these be the fingerprints of the cataclysm that erased an advanced civilization from the face of the earth? Could such a cataclysm happen again, and are we prepared? These are questions we must ask ourselves as we delve deeper into our planet's history and our own potential future. What if the survivors of this lost civilization went on to influence the cultures we know today? Imagine, if you will, a world recovering from a cataclysmic event. A handful of survivors, remnants of a once advanced civilization, find themselves in a drastically changed landscape. These survivors, bearers of knowledge far beyond their time, set out on a journey to rebuild, seeking refuge in different corners of the world. Graham Hancock theorizes that these survivors didn't just rebuild, they influenced. They became the architects of a new era, passing on their advanced knowledge to emerging cultures. They taught these cultures about astronomy, mathematics, agriculture, and architecture, to name a few. And as a result, these cultures flourished, growing into the civilizations we know from history. The evidence? It's scattered across the globe in the form of inexplicably precise and complex ancient structures. From the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt to the awe-inspiring Stonehenge in England, from the intricate Mayan temples in Central America to the colossal statues on Easter Island. These monuments, each a marvel of engineering and a testament to the advanced knowledge of their creators, stand as silent witnesses to a forgotten past. Hancock posits that these ancient marvels are not just architectural feats, but are, in fact, the legacy of the lost civilization. They bear the fingerprints of the gods, the survivors who, in their quest to rebuild, shaped the course of human history. But what if there's more? What if there are other fingerprints waiting to be discovered, hidden in plain sight or buried under layers of time and earth? What if these ancient structures are not the end but just the beginning, a tantalizing glimpse into a past we are yet to fully understand? Therein lies the allure of Hancock's theory, it challenges us to look beyond what we think we know, to question, to seek, and to discover. After all, history is not just about the past, it's about our journey as a species, a journey that's still unfolding. The fingerprints of these gods may be scattered across the world waiting to be discovered. As with any theory that challenges the mainstream narrative, Hancock's ideas have sparked controversy. No sooner had the ink dried on the pages of fingerprints of the gods than the critics began to voice their dissent. Academics and scholars from various fields questioned the validity of Hancock's findings, casting doubt on his interpretations of the evidence. Critics argued that Hancock's theories were speculative, based more on imagination than hard fact. They suggested that he had cherry-picked evidence to suit his narrative while ignoring contrary information. Archaeologists claimed that the civilizations Hancock pointed to as evidence of a lost advanced society were not as advanced or as ancient as he suggested. But Hancock was not to be silenced. He defended his theories with the tenacity of a lion protecting its cubs. He pointed out that mainstream history is not infallible, and that new discoveries are constantly challenging our understanding of the past. He argued that his critics were too quick to dismiss evidence that didn't fit neatly into their preconceived notions of history. Hancock's theories may be controversial, but they have also opened up important conversations about our history. They have forced us to question our understanding of the past and to consider the possibility that there may be more to our story than we currently know. The implications of Hancock's theories are profound. If there was indeed an advanced civilization that was wiped out by a cataclysm, it forces us to confront our own vulnerability. It reminds us that our civilization, no matter how advanced, is not immune to destruction. It also makes us wonder what knowledge and wisdom we may have lost with the disappearance of this ancient society. In the end, the controversy surrounding fingerprints of the gods serves to highlight the dynamic nature of history and the importance of keeping an open mind. It reminds us that history is not a fixed narrative, but a constantly evolving story that is open to reinterpretation.
Whether or not you believe in the existence of an ancient, advanced civilization, Hancock's fingerprints of the gods certainly gives us food for thought.